Halloween, with its carved pumpkins, spooky stories, and eerie atmosphere, owes much of its mystique to ancient legends and folklore. Among these tales, the legend of Stingy Jack stands out as a captivating and enduring narrative that has influenced the way we celebrate this haunting holiday. This myth, which originates from Irish folklore, not only gave rise to the tradition of carving jack-o'-lanterns, but also weaves a complex tale of trickery, deals with the devil, and the ultimate search for redemption. Stingy Jack, as the legend goes, was a clever but miserly man living in Ireland many centuries ago. He was known throughout the village for his cunning and deceitful ways, earning him the nickname Stingy. Jack was a drinker and a gambler, often frequenting the local tavern, where he would confellow patrons out of their money. His sharp wit and sly charm allowed him to escape the consequences of his actions time and time again. But Jack's reckless and duplicitous behavior would eventually catch up with him. One fateful evening, as Jack sat drinking in the tavern, a stranger, the mysterious guest seemed ordinary enough, but Jack soon realized that there was something otherworldly about this man. He had pale skin, glowing eyes, and a sinister smile that sent shivers down Jack's spine. It was none other than the devil himself who had come to claim Jack's soul. Facing the grim prospect of eternal damnation, Jack quickly hatched a plan to outsmart the devil. He pretended to be terrified and, in a moment of desperation, proposed a last request. Jack asked the devil for one final drink, a simple pleasure he believed he could not enjoy in the afterlife. The devil, ever fond of souls to add to his collection, reluctantly agreed and transformed himself into a silver coin to pay for the drink. But Jack, true to his deceitful nature, had no intention of allowing the devil to return to his original form. <laughs> Instead, he grabbed the silver coin and placed it into his wallet, which had a cross-shaped closure, preventing the devil from escaping. Trill, ah, he asked the devil to promise not to claim his soul for ten years. I taunt. Reluctantly, the devil agreed, and Jack released him from the wallet. Ten years passed, and Jack's reputation as a trickster and a rogue continued to grow. He reveled in his extended lease on life, confident that he could once again outwit the devil when the time... However, Jack's sinful ways persisted, and as the tenth year drew to a close, he found himself in a familiar predicament. The devil, true to his word returned to claim Jack's soul as the ten-year agreement came to Jack, as resourceful as ever, attempted another cunning maneuver. Um. This time, he asked the devil for one last favor before his soul was taken. A simple request for an apple from a nearby tree. The devil, eager to complete the deal, agreed to this seemingly innocent request. Jack climbed the tree with ease, but before he could pluck the apple, he carved a cross into the tree's bark, trapping the devil in the branches. With the devil ensnared, Jack made an audacious demand. He required a new deal. He insisted that the devil promise never to claim his soul or harm him any way for as long as he lived. The devil, realizing he had been outwitted yet again, reluctantly agreed to Jack's demand. Desperate to escape the tree, he was forced to grant Jack an extended reprieve and once more found himself powerless against the wily mortal. Jack! Triumphant in his defiance, released the devil from the tree's grasp, and the Prince of Darkness retreated with a vow to never return for Jack's soul. It Despite his cleverness, stingy Jack's story took a dark turn in the years that followed. His reputation as a trickster and a pariah left him with few friends and even fewer allies. He became a lonely and destitute wanderer, known throughout the land as a man who had bested the devil himself but was cursed to roam the earth for all eternity. As he wandered through the Irish countryside, Jack sought solace and redemption but found none. His treacherous past and selfish deeds haunted him, and he longed for forgiveness. But it seemed that even the devil's inability to claim his soul had not spared him from his own inner demons. In his desperate search for a resting place, Jack approached the gates of heaven, seeking entry into the afterlife. However, his checkered past and unsavory reputation preceded him, and the gates of heaven remained closed to him. Jack was rejected, left to wander in the darkness between worlds. With no place to call home, Stingy Jack's plight became a symbol of misfortune and trickery. His story evolved into a cautionary tale, warning against greed, deceit, and the consequences of one's actions. 
To commemorate his restless spirit and as a means of warding off evil, the people of Ireland and, eventually, the world began carving grotesque faces into turnips, potatoes and eventually pumpkins. These hollowed-out vegetables, illuminated by candles, became known as jack-o'-lanterns, a beacon to guide lost souls and a symbol of protection against malevolent spirits. The tradition of carving jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween is a testament to the enduring power of Stingy Jack's legend. It serves as a reminder that our actions, whether virtuous or deceitful, have consequences and that redemption is not always easily attained. The myth of Stingy Jack has endured for centuries, weaving a complex narrative of trickery, deals with the devil, and the search for redemption. This timeless tale has left an indelible mark on Halloween traditions, giving rise to the iconic Jack O' Lantern and serving as a cautionary reminder of the consequences of one's actions. Stingy Jack's story is a reflection of the human condition, exploring themes of cunning, redemption, and the enduring struggle between good and evil. As we carve our pumpkins and tell spooky stories on Halloween night, we pay homage to the enduring legacy of Stingy Jack, a character who, despite his flaws, continues to captivate our imaginations and remind us of the power of folklore and myth in shaping our cultural traditions. Like, hey, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos. Ta